Hey everybody, welcome back to Swift Lessons for a quick lead guitar tip that you can use to sweeten up your blues licks. Now today I'm playing in the key of C. It's a blues progression, so C dominant 7. Uh, F dominant 7, or maybe F9. And G dominant 7. So this is a very common context. You've probably gotten used to using your minor pentatonic scale in this context. Or your minor blues scale. a ton of very cool options. All right, but you might want to sweeten up your licks and learn how to target each chord in that progression a little bit more professionally. And the way that we can do that is very, very simple. Simply target the major third of each of those chords. So let's get started with the one chord. That's going to be C dominant seven in this case. If you want to find the major third of this chord, it's going to be whatever note your middle finger is playing. In this case, it's an E note. Okay, so if you add that E note into your minor pentatonic scale, that's going to be a note that really signals to the audience what chord you're playing over top of, what you're trying to imply, and it's also going to make your licks sound a lot more sweet. All right, so adding in a little bit of major flavor over top of the one chord, C dominant seven, as easy as finding an E note and adding it into your scale. And you can find it right there seventh fret of the A string as well. And then resolve. Okay, now let's say we're uh, transitioning to the four chord. All right, that's gonna be F7. And I can do the exact same thing. Find the major third of the four chord F7. I can do that by simply playing the major triad version of the chord. Okay, so an F major chord played with my A bar chord shape. So an A chord transposed up to the key of F. Now the major third of this chord is gonna be right here on the B string, in this case, 10th fret. All right, I can check that with my major scale. Do, re, mi, one, two, three. Find the octave. And right there I have two major thirds that I can add into my licks when playing specifically over the four chord F dominant seven. Okay, so I might play something like this. And I went back to the one chord and utilize the major third of that C or C dominant seven chord. Okay, so let's review. We have the one chord C dominant seven, finding the major third right there on the ninth fret of the G string, add it in to the minor pentatonic scale or blue scale. All right, for that beautiful major flavor. Same thing over the four chord. All right, I can find it right here. On the 10th fret of the B string, add that into my minor pentatonic scale. And that's going to sound fantastic over the 4 chord. Alright, now let's say we're going to the 5 chord. To find the major third of the 5 chord, G or G dominant 7, I can just play it like this. That's a G dominant 7 performed with my C7 type shape. So a C7 chord, we're using our cage system. I can transpose this chord up. 10th fret position gives me G dominant seven. The major third is going to be right here on the A string, ninth fret. So just like I did before, I can now start to add in 
note into my blues scale or my minor pentatonic. Okay, so if the five chord is coming in, you could play something like real slow. And right there, I grabbed another note from the harmony, the root note of the five chord, G. All right, we can go to the four chords similarly. little trick before you go today. You can also find the major third of the five chord G7 here adjacent to the minor pentatonic position. And then outline that entire G major chord using the D shape of the G chord. So, seven, eight, seven, ten, slide the nine, and resolve to the G note as you're playing over top of the G chord. Okay, so. these tips useful and that this is going to help you to sweeten up your blues licks. Enjoy your practice.